What's up, everyone? Welcome down to a special episode, I guess a pandemic episode of The Vault. And I know a lot has happened in the last 11 days since um, the three bands have come back to the United States from the Bass Strikes Back tour. And I was actually, Ted and I were talking about, Ted Aguilar from uh, Death Angel and I were talking on the very last day about coming in last week and doing a recap of the tour and talking about the tour, but what obviously things have happened and, and, and quarantines have gone in and people have gotten sick. So I just kind of wanted to give everybody kind of what happened and, 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 a, and a view through our eyes and what we saw. So, you know, obviously Exodus, Death Angel and Testament were on a five week European tour, which started in um, February 6th in, in Copenhagen in Denmark. And at that point in time, we, you know, obviously were paying attention to what was going on. You know, we heard that this uh, uh, virus that was first found in China uh, uh, had kind of made its way over to other parts of the world. And there was some in the United States and obviously some in Europe. And, and at this point in time, it's probably bigger spread than we even knew. So we're keeping our, our, our ear to the news to see what's going on because obviously we're traveling and we're all traveling together. And uh, so, you know, we're keeping, everybody's kind of paying attention to it. So um, as we were traveling through the tour, we were hearing more and more instances of it and, and, and cases of it. In fact, you know, we found out that Italy was a huge hotspot for whatever reason, we don't know, but uh, Italy was a really big hotspot and still is. And for as of today, and we're taping this on March 23rd, uh, they've surpassed China for more deaths in, in, in the pandemic. So uh, it, it actually turned there. And we knew this because when we were coming up uh, on the show, we were supposed to play in, in Milan um, about a day before we were in Zurich, Switzerland. And we had heard that Italy shows canceled. They're going to close all the borders because of uh, the pandemic that's going on. And we were thinking like, wow, is it that serious? You know, and obviously it is. Obviously, it's it, it's come to uh, um, you know it's actually brought the world to its knees right now, and and um, we didn't know the severity, so we went straight to Spain from Switzerland, and we kept on the tour. And again, you got to understand that we're meeting fans, and we're meeting different people, and we're all using the same facilities and the same catering, and we're all around each other constantly. So. It makes good sense why so many people from the tour, you know, caught it. How we caught it or how they caught it. Because, again, I feel great. I don't have, if I have it, I don't have any symptoms of it. I don't feel bad at all. I have, you know, sleeping really well. Uh, I feel strong as an ox. I wish the gyms weren't closed. I'd be there every day, unfortunately. So, um, and the only one from our camp who seems to be sick is Gary, who showed signs of it. But um, his test won't come back for some quite some time now. He's seven to ten days, I believe. He told me and why that is. I, I don't know. But him and his wife were tested. Now, I spoke to him this morning, and he feels uh, better, although he does still has a little bit of the symptoms sometimes. But he says he feels much better on that. Um, as far as, um, obviously, everybody knows yesterday, Chuck, Billy, and his wife, Tiffany, had went on the Internet and, and you know, told everybody that they have contracted it as well, which means now more people, it looks like, and I believe there's two of their uh, techs uh, on, on the, on their, in their camp that worked for them are, are have contracted it as well. And um, we know that, you know, so again, I, I don't know if, if I don't even know if Will is positive. Will Carroll is very sick. He's in, the ICU right now. Um, I heard he's doing a lot better, uh, but the news is very vague. So, and and thanks to everybody for all of your outpouring and 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 uh, and all your your thoughts and 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 the things that you've been saying on the internet. We do read that. You know, obviously, thrash metal stays uh, as as a very uh, tight knit family, and we are that way. And it is successful because you know the fans are like our family. So. Uh, thanks for everybody that's poured in and and went on this is we didn't expect this to happen obviously i was hoping to be able to come home and 
tell about all the great stories that of the fun that we had because I will still tell those and there's so many that happened on this tour that I'm sure if you were following it you saw some of it but um, um, I'm gonna try to get back once a week on this there won't be any new episodes obviously I can't have any guests in right now uh, me and Wayne are like walking in the the vault here staying like six feet away from each other just like they're saying so uh, we're trying to keep that that uh in, in in close quarters stay in side obviously you know on this one i i never like to listen to what the fucking government tells me to do you know obviously because I, in my eyes they don't know and, and in on my eyes they're not ready for something much more severe than this this really went and proved it because they are just not ready for the testing and i don't think they know what they hit hit them i'm not slamming them for it I just don't think the world was really ready for something like this, and it went to go prove it. So on this one, I would say stay indoors so that you can, you know, keep the contagion down so you're not, you know, inf if you are infected, I mean, I don't know, you know, if you may be a carrier and not be able to get the virus. I don't think anybody really knows much about it some people are more severe than others i guess some people have symptoms people have died but people have also recovered from this so so i would do what they say hey and you know now's a great time to like catch up on netflix go watch old shows go watch like dexter again or the sopranos or you know if you live in california you can always you know smoke fucking weed you know like oh, that's what i've been doing i've smoked about a fucking ounce of weed in the last week it's like so you know, you got to keep yourself busy. I mean, you know, everything goes better with a bag of weed, obviously. But uh, I'll try to keep you updated as, as I've heard. I'll try to do this once a week. I had some really great guests lined up that I can't uh, obviously have in. Um, I had our first fly-in guest that would have blown everybody away. And it's still going to happen. But it was going to be one of probably would have been our favorite guest on the show I'll wait it probably would have been very very good but I'm gonna keep it up I'll be putting up I have some episodes that I did tape before I left on tour and and um I I'm gonna put those up one a week you know just to keep the content going so you guys have something to watch I hope you liked what I did on the tour with all the video stuff and and I'm gonna again I'm gonna do a whole episode I'm gonna get when this all simmers down, I'm probably going to get Ted in here or maybe even Will in here from Death Angel and, and just talk about the tour and how much fun it was because it was a lot of fun. But everybody, try to stay safe. Please just do what they say. I know this time, stay indoors. You know, keep yourself healthy. Um, do what you can do uh, to just till this thing ends. I mean, you know, we, we none of us know much about of it but we don't want to spread it and so obviously if spreading it is going out and being in public and doing those sort of things keep them to a minimal so like i said i've been in for since we got back 11 days ago and just been kind of watching tv watching smoking weed and answering all the text messages of people that were concerned so you know again you guys so be safe everybody as of right now you know, there's a few of us that are sick, you know, but but I think everybody on the whole is going to get, it's going to be better. So just keep positive out there and um, well, I'll keep you updated as I keep doing this more and more. You know, I'll do this probably once a week unless something drastic really happens. I just wanted to keep you guys, let you know what's going on with the vault and stuff. The, the, the cinemas are closed, so I can't do any crappy movie reviews, right? So, uh and I can't have anybody in here to do an actual movie, and I can't have any guests, so it kind of kills the content. But if this continues, I'll at least drag Wayne out here once a week to give you guys an update of what we're doing over here. So leave me questions. If you have legitimate questions, I'll I'll read the stuff in, in that time, and I'll answer them. If you just shout out, I, I'm not, this is one of those episodes where I'll do that, but when I come back, if you have something that, you know, you wanted to know or, you know, or had something to do with what went on, I'll be, you know, happy to answer those questions. Obviously, in the last six weeks, 
So many of you new subscribers have come since I went on tour. And thank you for that. Keep coming up. Share this with everybody. So I hope that they see it. So they know that, you know, we're doing all right, you know, in the Exodus camp. Really, Gary's the only one that's sick as far as the techs and the rest of the band. Everybody's doing good. A couple of guys in Death Angel not feeling too well, but getting better. Chuck and his wife and a couple of their techs not feeling too well, but they're getting better. So just keep your fingers crossed, and um, I'll be in touch with you guys soon. All right? Talk to you soon.